So before moving on to the next question, okay, question number two. Let me tell you over here, we wrote 45 degree. Because we are writing the answer in true bearing, it should be written as 0, 0, 5. Okay. Always three digit. 0, 4, and 5. Clear? So, M to N. What do you think will be the value? This is a guess. So, you can do 180. So, 90 plus 45, 135. Okay. Now, I'll teach you the shortcut method also and long method also. Over here, N to M, the bearing is this. Yes or no? Yes, sir. This is the bearing. Now, so easy method is, it is, can you see, it is more than 180. Yeah. You need, all you can do is 135 plus 180. So what I'm taking an advantage of visualization also. Okay. So according to me, it would be 5 and this will give me 1. So it will give me 1. 315 degree. Okay. Now, talking from logical perspective, if this is 135 degree, okay, then what is this particular angle? We have done this thing, remember? It will always be it's 45, right? Yes. Because of co-interior angle property. 180 mm -hmm. minus 30, uh, 135. Answer would be 45. Clear? And this would be 360 minus 45. 315. So, this is a longer method. This is a shortcut method. Okay. Is that thing clear? Yeah, clear. So, let us do some questions. Okay. Mm, which one, which one? Okay. Yeah, this is a good question. Question number six. Quickly read this question. Okay. Quickly read this question and draw the diagram and send it to me. Now, this is an interesting question. Now, an aeroplane flies from New Way, New Kuwait, I don't know, to Birmingham. Okay, on a bearing of this. So, what is the starting point? What is the starting point? Uh, 44 degrees. No, starting point, name of the city from where we are starting. Oh, New Way. New Way. New way. So, make a dot anywhere. Make a dot anywhere and write the name as N, new way. Okay. okay. Now, tell me, uh, north is this? Yes, this is north. Yeah. So, where will be 44 degree? Will it be on the top, on the right, on the left, 
where it will be i think from the top to the left to, to, to the right side so it will be like this yes or no because yes. this is 90 yes or no mm -hmm. so this particular angle is 44 is that thing clear yeah and this particular point is what birmingham clear now clear. this is north of birmingham now what will be the bearing bearing is this so we need to find this angle x so important thing is first of all drawing second thing is finding now tell me what is the value of x so remember when we are drawing the figure if the angle looks more than 180 we just add 180 degree to it for the return bearing always remember return bearing return is important not somewhere else and if the angle is looking smaller than 180 we just subtract 180 from the given angle is that thing clear yes so x value is because it is more than 180 sir how do you know this straight line is 180 okay mm -hmm. So this particular part is 180. It is more than 180. So answer is 180 plus 44. Answer would be 224. 224. Clear. So return to uh, new way from Birmingham is 244 or uh, 224 degree. I hope it is clear. Question. Um, you just try to draw the diagram. Don't solve it fully. We are just learning how to draw diagram. Okay. Go over here. So this particular question: A ship sails twenty kilometer northeast. So let me just put a dot. So this is my starting point. Let's say A. Yes. So first of all, I will draw a north always. Understood? Okay. Yeah. So north is is what? N E. Uh, towards the left. I mean right side in the middle. On the top. Yeah. This direction. Yeah. So, So, what is this angle? That will be uh, 45. 0, 4, 5. When we are talking from bearings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, the distance which we have covered is 20 kilometer. So, make sure you write that. Now, what has happened then 18 kilometers south now from this point point b again north is at the top north will always remain at the top south means down i'm coming down and how much 18 kilometer that means little bit less yes or no Yes. And this is my point C. Always label it. Now, how far it is uh, from the starting point? Let us leave this question. We will focus on the second part. So, on what bearing must it sail to return to the starting point? That means they are asking us to join these two points. Okay, so. Please, one 
very basic thing. Students just look at the question and say that, okay, sir, it is 90. Please do not guess. We have to no, work. No, it's not 90 because... No, yeah. I'm saying even if it is 90, even if it is 90, we are not allowed to guess. Is that thing clear? Yeah. yeah. So we need to find this angle. Mm -hmm. So before this. that, you have to find uh, A, B, right? B. Yeah. Before that, we need to find how far it is from the how far is it from its starting point so before that we need to find bc so bc also we need to find okay okay so how can we find bc can you see this is a triangle for me mm -hmm. okay a b c a b value is 20 bc value is 18 So, if we are able to find any angle, so if you remember, this yeah. was what? 180 degree? Yes. And because we are going south. Yeah. Yes or no? And yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as we have found, if we, as we know, this is 45 degree. Can I find this angle? Co yeah, that also angle. be 45, no? No, co interior 180 minus 45. This would be 180 minus 45. 45. That means 135 degree. Okay, now at this point, yeah. this total is 360 degree because it's a circle. Can you see that? Yeah, mm -hmm. now we of this circle, there are three parts. This blue color part. Now this is 180 degree. And this is the inner part. Can you see that? Yes. So, this particular angle would be 360 minus 135. Minus 180. Okay. Quickly tell me what will be the answer. 360 minus 135 and 180. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, so it will be 45. Very good. So this angle I have found as 45 degree. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Now, tell me to find AC. Which rule should I apply? Oh, I'm sorry, can you just repeat again? I am saying to find AC over here. Uh -huh. Which rule I should apply? This is a triangle. Now, whenever we get triangle, we have to apply either sine rule or cosine oh, rule. Oh, like that. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. So, it's like uh, opposite, no, uh, hypotenuse by adjacent. Correct. Is it a right angle triangle? Is it a right angle triangle? No. No. no, no, no. no. It is not a right angle triangle. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So either sine rule we will be applicable or cosine rule will be applicable. So okay. always remember the if we have a triangle, this side and this side are given, and the middle angle is also given. We need to find the opposite angle always cosine rule is better. Okay. Okay. So over here, y square equals to 20 square 
I need space plus eighteen square minus two into twenty into eighteen into cos forty five. Okay. Is that thing clear? Yeah, yeah, clear. So you can solve this thing and you will find out the value of y. So since it is an example, let me see what the answer is. So uh, 14.6, so I'm taking the answer. 14.6 kilometer, I got the answer. Clear? Yeah, clear. Now, we need to find Now I'm taking the figure again. So we have this value as 20, this value as 18, and this value as 14.6. This angle as 20. Now we need to find this full angle. Okay. So what we can do, we can find out the inner angle and subtract 360 and get the outer angle. Since we have all three sides and one angle is also there, so this is 45. So we can use sine rule. That's why I was saying uh, this chapter is very important. Sine rule, cosine rule. So we need to find angle C. So I will use sine C upon 20. And what angle is given? 45 is given. Sine 45 degree upon 14.6. Okay. Okay. So after yeah. solving this thing, C equals to sine inverse. 20 multiply by sine 45 degree upon 14.6. So when, when you solve this thing, C value would be 285 degree. Okay. Any doubt in this question? Uh, no, sir. Okay. That's it. Please copy this thing.